Hey guys, it's Ayvette. Hey Today I am doing a video that was very highly requested for the past years. And here I am finally today doing it. And my answer is yes, I did get a boob job, a breast augmentation. I got my boob job back in 2019. I was going to talk about it directly after I got my boobs, but and now I kind of feel like people are more open to the fact that it's okay for people to get plastic surgery if that's what's going to make them happy. So now I finally feel comfortable. I have felt comfortable the moment that I got my boobs. I was freshly 20. I hadn't even turned 21 yet. I just thought it was better for me to wait until it was already a year and my boobs were already healed and they were at their full complete state and what they were going to look like. So here I am today, a year and a half, almost two years later, talking about my breast augmentation. I feel like now that I've had my experience and my time with my boobs, I am now able to talk to you guys clearly and directly about how my journey went. So starting off, with the most asked question is what made you decide to get your boobs done so i've always wanted to get my boobs done it's honestly been an insecurity since i was a little girl i know that might sound dumb to some of you guys but as a girl you have tons of insecurities as a human you have tons of insecurities and i feel like if you're not happy with something that's on your body or you want to make a little tweak to something to make yourself feel better and happier and just like the real you i feel like go for it as long as you're being safe you're doing your research and you know that you're 1000% sure about it. I feel like at around the age of maybe like eighth grade, I was for sure that I wanted to get my boobies done, but I just never really talked about it with anyone. I probably talked about it with my best friend, Allie, but that was pretty much it. Nobody else really knew. I feel like I would joke about it by the time, like when I was way younger, nobody was really open about getting surgeries or doing this and that. So I just felt like oh that's something that i'm never going to do maybe that's just going to be like in the back of my head but i'm just never going to do it and then i got to the age of 20 and i said for my 21st birthday this is going to be my gift to myself i did my research i had a bunch of trusted people in my life helped me and find the best doctor and so i got with my mom and i told her hey like you know i really want to get my boobies done it's something that i'm very insecure about like this is going to be my one treat to myself for my 21st birthday i'm super excited and of course my parents were skeptical about it but of course my mom did know that it was something that was of my insecurity for a while so she understood finally and let me do it so thank you so much to my mom for actually taking care of me the whole entire time and taking me to all the appointments and all that stuff because my doctor is in la so I was still kind of scared to be driving up to LA and going to appointments alone because I mean honestly I feel like a lot of us are really scared to go to appointments alone or even make a phone call to make an appointment like let's be honest. I am going to have tons of vlog clips of actual times so I am going to be looking a little different because before I had no lips. There's nothing wrong with that but I definitely look a lot younger because I was freshly 20 like I told you guys. This is also besides the point but my acne was really bad at the time. Can we just have a little round of applause for my acne journey. I also really want to do a video on my acne journey because I feel like I kind of got down the products that worked for me and what the problem really was. Let me know, but anyway, I'm getting off topic. All of my vlog pieces will be pieced together after I kind of give you guys a little backstory of everything and everything that you guys need to know. I do really vividly remember in seventh grade, I had absolutely no boobies. And like I said, there is nothing wrong with natural bodies because it's natural, it's normal, it's the human body. Each body is beautiful. But I definitely felt very uncomfortable with my size because all the girls around me were wearing all these bras and cute little bralettes. I actually wasn't even wearing bras in seventh grade yet. I don't think I started wearing bras until like, eighth grade so and i was so happy with my a cup i was like wow i'm finally wearing bras that is so crazy but like in sixth seventh grade i didn't wear bras at all they didn't fit me so i was wearing training bras basically sports bras but because of my insecurity even when the days would be like 90 degrees almost 100 degrees because i do live in southern california i would be sweating my little body off a sweater over top every single day because i got made fun of by little boys and i will never forget the moment that this little boy told me i can't even cup your boobs because you have none that's definitely not the reason why but like looking back I'm getting teary-eyed. <laughs> Looking back at something so damaging to tell a little girl, but like, 
I feel like the little boy at the time like didn't know, you know, that it was exactly gonna be damaging. I mean, we're all little, but it still doesn't make it okay. That thing that that boy in seventh grade told me just really stuck in my head. And he was actually one of the popular boys, like one of the cuter boys, I guess. And the fact that he told me that just like stays in my head to this day. And that's one thing, do not comment on people's appearances because a lot of the times is damaging. 99.9% .9 of the time it's damaging. It will stay in someone's head for the rest of their life. But like I said, that's not what really caused some insecurity because I had already been wearing all these sweaters to cover up the fact that I didn't have anything there. So now moving forward to all throughout high school, I feel like I would feel better and more comfortable wearing certain things if I got a bigger size. You guys are all beautiful in your own way and I know that this is cliche, everyone always says this, but you are beautiful just how you were Born, you are gorgeous inside and out but and I feel like everyone else that does do plastic surgery procedures they're doing it because they want to enhance their confidence and if that's what makes you happy go for it everyone has different genetics everyone's weight goes in different places so everyone is blessed in their own separate ways the comparison doesn't work because everybody has this different perspective of perfection so whatever makes you happy don't do it for anyone else do it because it's going to make you feel more comfortable and because it's what you've wanted all right so now moving into how big I got them and what my sizes are and what my boobies look like with no bra with a bra that's not really padded and then a push-up bra because I'm sure you guys are curious I'm gonna try to go through this as quickly as possible guys because I know this video is gonna be really long I'm just wearing a bodysuit so my left size is bigger than my right size so my right boob actually has more cc's than my left boob because my doctor did tell me one had more tissue, so one was obviously a little bit bigger. My left implant is 345 cc's, and then my right one is 365 cc's. You don't go by A, B, C, D, double D, so on. You go by cc's. I actually got silicone implants, and I got a high profile. All this stuff sounds really confusing, but when the doctor explains it to you, it is going to be like a breeze. You're going to be like, oh, okay, that makes sense now. I don't remember exactly what the ones below high profile are i think one is like i don't exactly remember just know that there is pretty much like four levels so since i got high profile my boobs are supposed to be sitting up more up actually i'm not a thousand percent happy with the way that my boobs came out but we will be talking about that later on my boobies just dropped a little bit more than i wanted them to low profile you're not going to be seeing as much projection that's pretty much what it is projection and i believe there's this higher one that's called ultra high profile which is how i feel like i should have got them because i wanted them to sit but when i do wear a bra they do look like this and then when i wear a push-up Girl, they're all the way up here. The specific brand of silicone implants that I got are Natrell and Spirit Breast Implants. I'm pretty sure that each doctor carries different brands. Now let me tell you guys the little horror story that I had with my doctor. It wasn't exactly a horror story, but it was the fact that I went to a doctor in Beverly Hills. I did call a few other doctors. I was going to go to one in Riverside. I didn't end up going to him because he wanted to give me my consultation up until June and I wanted my boobies already by my birthday. Like I wanted them to be healed by my birthday, which is in July, but I ended up getting my surgery in April, I believe. April? 2019 but with this doctor in beverly hills i did get a consultation in like the next week so i was super excited i loved his work like i was obsessed like his work was like everything was close together like when i wanted to get my boobs done i wanted them to be high so i already gathered some inspo pics i got to the doctor good morning guys today is april 8th and it is currently 10 30 in the morning i'm on my way to the beverly hills plastic surgery today's my consultation I honestly don't know if I'm going to be uploading this, but just in case if I ever decide to Yes, I am getting my boobies done. I've been wanting this for a very long time A lot of you guys may think that I sound ridiculous. A lot of you guys on my Instagram ask me What bra I use or you guys actually think that I'm naturally that big But I actually wear the super super thick padded bombshell bras from Victoria's Secret and that's my secret. I don't actually have boobs. Right now, I'm a C, I'm a 32C, but they're not full and they don't seem like a C to me. They seem more like a B. I'm gonna go and do my consultation today. I'm very excited. If you guys remember my best friend, Allie, I've talked to her about this since I was in middle school and I know that sounds crazy, but I've always known that I wanted this. It's not just because of 
the things I see on social media, it's always been something that I've always wanted. They had my mom and I wait about three, four hours just for the consultation and they told us to get there early. So my mom and I, keep in mind we didn't eat because it was like bright and early in the morning and my mom took the day off so we could do this. So we had already been super annoyed because we we're just like, wow, we came here on time, even earlier. I'm being led in and the doctor meets me in the room and I'm like shaking because I'm so excited. He comes in, he has no emotion. Not that he has to have emotion, but I would have appreciated as being his patient. I feel like he could have been nicer. He works with several celebrities and influencers influencers and blah 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 blah. He's in there. He makes me feel dumb the entire time. I'm here as a new patient. I've never gotten anything done. So I was just like, oh no, like what do I even ask him? Like I was just, I was very nervous because he was very intimidating. He didn't make me feel comfortable at all. So because of that, I'm not going to be recommending him. My inspo picks were sweetie. So I wanted them to look like that. I wanted them to look round. I wanted them to be high. I wanted them to be close together. So I showed him those and he immediately like sees that they have clothes on. Um, apparently I'm supposed to show him like naked bare boobs. And I didn't know that. I mean, like I feel like any other doctor would just be like, okay, I know what you mean. But he wanted to be rude about it and he it was just like, I don't know what that is. Like, I don't know what you mean because these people have clothes on. So I did find some that I really liked and I showed him. And at the moment, I wasn't really thinking much about it because I was like, okay, he's probably in a rush, like this and that. But looking back, he should have been more accommodating to his patient. He asked me to take off my robe and he's feeling my breast tissue and he's kind of like feeling all around and he's taking pictures before and after pictures. He was like, you actually have a nice size breast because at the time I was a C cup. I don't believe it though. I feel like I was more a B. They weren't big, they were small. So like all in high school, I would wear super giant, the biggest padded bras I could ever possibly wear. So my mom in the corner is looking like, I told you girl, you don't need them done. I was fine last night. I was like, oh, I'm so excited. But now seeing all of those boobs over there, I'm just kind of like, oh my god. I know that this doctor is really good. His work is just really juicy. So I'm excited to see what he's going to say. I started off at a small C and then he gave me double Ds. So I actually ended up going with my boyfriend at the time the next day and I did my blood work and it was all crazy. I felt like I was going to faint. It was insane. Mm, getting a blood drawn. I can feel everything. My, my arm feels numb right now. You feel the blood like going through the. Yes. Like your arm starts feeling cold. Like you can feel like the blood is coming out. Oh. I was surprised you were watching. Because it's not that bad. I <laughs> did you see like the red? Um, I was fine. Well, you did it. It ended up that I made my surgery earlier than expected. It's kind of hitting me now because it's in nine days and so it's on may 10th i did like 17 to 20 pages of paperwork and it was falling asleep it was so long it was an how about this it was an hour worth of paperwork you made me i was sleeping and my mouth was open i was so knocked out but anyway i told the doctor what i wanted i went to financials they told me that it was going to be nine thousand and something dollars i don't remember but i'll put it right here so you guys can get the exact amount and then i actually ended up having my surgery in like the next few weeks The day of the surgery, my doctor was actually very nice to me. But on this day of the surgery, my mom and I waited in the waiting room for several hours. I'm here an hour early, it's 11.30. This is what it looked like now, you guys can't see too well since I am wearing a sweater, but you guys can kind of see what it looks like when I don't have anything on. This thing told me not to wear any makeup, nothing, and just be in comfy clothing for afterwards. So. Honestly, last night I wasn't too nervous, but I can feel myself getting nervous. I'm excited. So I'll see you guys afterwards. Waited throughout my whole surgery, which my surgery was only 45 minutes. It was just a whole mess that day, but I did talk about it in my vlog part. So now the time has came, they called me back and I gave my mom a big hug and I was like, I love you. Um, I'll see you soon. And I got all teary eyed because I was like, damn, like this is scary, like this is happening. The whole time I wasn't really nervous up until I was laying down in the bed. That's when I got really nervous because I was like, oh my god, like this, this is a surgery room, it looks so scary. And then an hour later, I'm taken directly into the actual surgery room on a table and I'm freaking out because the whole room just looked like a scary alien's 
playground pretty much like there was machines over here machines over there with gloves and doctors all over the place but i was out like a light let me tell you in like five minutes i explained it here in this clip i just got out of surgery i can barely even talk we've been here since 11 30 and it's now 6 15 the surgery was like 45 minutes the sleeping medicine in my baby all of a sudden like right away i started feeling like super warm and then I started feeling prickles all over my body. I started feeling waves all across my body. Literally in like 10 seconds, I was out. And then I woke up, and I was here. And I was so confused. And then I looked down, and I'm like, oh my gosh, I have boobs. I didn't feel a thing and I woke up to having my dream bodies. Alright y'all, so enough of me talking and give you guys all that information. I hope that really helped you guys. If you guys do have more questions, I will definitely do a part two and answer any of your guys' questions specifically. I'll probably do like a booby q and I have been home for the past several hours already. My mom's feed me lunch and dinner. I got um, acai. It felt really good to have chicken soup. Um, in my stomach just because it was a little heavier. I've been getting up to pee so many times, but um, I think it's my body just Taking all the liquids out because I went 24 hours without eating I can finally shower after three days and I'm excited because I already feel so crusty right now, but I'm excited. I'm excited to see the results tomorrow. The post-op is at 10 30 So I'm gonna try to get some rest right now, but overall I do feel pretty good. I would say a 15 pound medicine ball is on my chest. I woke up and the pain was so unbearable I don't know what it is about the second day I just really hope that my third day pre-op is much better But I just had the same bra on as yesterday I'm wearing the pink one and as you guys can see It's like all the way up here because my boobies are really high right now I find that my body is getting very very cold easily and the reason why is probably just because all my nerves are trying to kind of like recollect each other. I'm honestly just excited to see how I'm going to be feeling tomorrow, my third day, because today's pain was excruciating, so. I just came back from my post-op appointment a few hours ago, and I finally got the doctor to check me out to see if I'm healing well. He, it was a pretty quick appointment just because he wanted to see how they're looking, take out the stitches. He told me that I just needed to start putting on some scarring creams. In about a week, I can start wearing some underwire bras. He did tell me that I will be like double D even in Victoria's Secret, but I still do have to continue wearing my sports bras at night for the next two months after the month period. But as always, thank you guys so much for watching. So that is all for my vlog footage. I really hope that you guys enjoyed it and it was full of information. It's actually quite a shock looking back to these videos now because I have grown as a woman. But before I go, I did want to say my last thoughts on my boobies now. So I'm going to show you guys, this is what my boobies look like with no bra on. And then I'm also going to be putting a bra on. So this one here is just like the Lightly Lined by Victoria's Secret. I do wear a 32 double D now. I'm wearing a waist trainer right now, so don't mind that. But this is what they look like with just a lightly lined bra. So you guys can pretty much see this is what I wanted, but I only get that with a bra. So now moving on to a more push-up bra. This is not too much extra, but it does have more push-up. And you can see that my boobs look astronomical. Like they go all the way up here to my collarbone. This one's actually a light push-up. So if I was to wear a super gigantic bombshell bra by Victoria's Secret, they'd be all the way up to my freaking neck. So I did want to get a revision. Also, my scars are pretty bad, y'all. Like, my scars are really bad, and I just want to call in so I can get a revision and tell the doctor, like, hey, I'm not happy with this and this. Is there anything that you can do? And I really don't like it. I know I can remove it with, like, you know, certain lasers and treatments that we have nowadays, but I just feel like my scars should not have been that bad. He told me that they shouldn't be very noticeable at all, so I'm Definitely going to be thinking about doing a revision because I shouldn't be feeling uncomfortable with how my boobs look as the final result. If I do get a revision and I do do them all over again, I will let you guys know, but I probably will not be anytime soon. Alright guys, that is it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching as always. If you guys do want that Q&A to really answer all your guys' specific questions, let me know and I will definitely do that. And I will talk to you guys in my next video.